Welcome back guys, this is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Today we're going to be test driving a 1981 Camaro. Very clean up under the hood, this is a small block 350. I love the way it looks under here, nice and clean, it's accented great. Look at all the pulley upgrades. Even the hood's nice and shiny. But like I said, we're gonna do a test drive in this. And when I get back, I'm gonna walk around the outside and try to find any kind of flaws. We're gonna check the interior out, check the trunk out. But for now, let's go for a ride. We're gonna check out the interior real quick before we take off. Just kind of look around, you can see all the aftermarket gauges, door panels are in good shape, seats look nice, console's nice. Does have a CD player, the face of the CD player is in the office. Look at across the gauges. We'll go ahead and start it up. I'm not gonna touch the gas. Starts up nicely. I love the way this motor sounds, it's got a great exhaust setup. Horn does not work. We can try our windshield wipers. Yep. They're slow, but they're moving. Uh, AC stuff down here. Heard a click, but I don't hear nothing blowing. No AC on the car. And the blower motor's out, so. RPM's coming up. Of course, the gauges have been replaced, so we're not going to stick with those miles. Uh, looks like our battery gauge is working. Our fuel gauge is unhooked. Water temperature hasn't came up yet. Car has ran a little bit. I don't know if that works. Oil pressure does work. It's right at 50. Let's take off. Oh, man. You ever get the feeling you should have bought something? I'm starting to feel like this with this car. I love the way that motor just shakes the whole car. All right. Enough talk about it. Let's see what it'll do. Guys, if you don't mind, hit subscribe. I post videos every single day. It's all classic muscle cars. You can also go to my website, maplemotors.com, for financing information, 100 detailed pictures. Feels like it does have a lower end gear. Steering's got a little bit of slack in it, for the most part. Steering pretty soft, nice and smooth. Let me make sure I'm not in neutral. I mean, not in second. Yeah. Definitely uh, geared low. So when you hit the highway, you're probably only going to cruise at about 65, 70 mile an hour. The speedometer's not working on this. It's not coming up. Looks like our water tip's finally coming up. Since the gas gauge ain't working, we're going to the gas station. I'm going to put about $20 worth of fuel in it. That way we don't run out. I don't know what's in the tank right now. I've been using my turn signals, but there's no indicator on the dash when they change the uh, cluster out. The brakes feel great. They're stopping quick. Suspension's a bit squeaky. Throttles. Nice. Feels good. Ooh, we gotta watch out. There's a giant hole in this parking lot now. All right, I'm gonna throw about $20 worth of fuel in here and we'll keep rolling. I'll show y'all where the gas tank is.
good takeoff. Temperature did come up. Still sitting around 160. It was going up to 170, go back down to 160. Oil pressure is still 45, 50. Uh, everything seems to be good. Let's keep on rolling. All right, I want to put y'all in the driver's seat. Give y'all a view of what it's like. What was that? A little rattling coming from up here somewhere. Let's see if we can get it to do it again. While we're waiting on traffic, I'll go ahead and show you. It goes in reverse, perfectly fine. Shifting gears nice and easy. Kick down don't seem to be hooked up. Not that it needs it, the car's pulling nice and strong. It's not pulling to the left or right. I'll tell you what, the more I drive it, the more I want it. road up here on the right there's a big old bump we're gonna hit it check the suspension and the dash is making a little squeaking noise it sounds like it's rubbing up against something a little gauge there needs to be tightened up behind it uh, turn signals did work I noticed that Let's give her a stop here Turns out easy. Oh, there's a big bump in the road right here. Check the suspension. Here it is. Suspension's not bad. The dash is just rattling, making some noise here. Well, the test drives went very well on this car. All the gauges are checking out other than the gas gauge and the miles per hour. Those will have to be hooked up. Uh, here at Maple Motors, we don't work on the cars. We just tell you everything about them and buy and sell. So you can check us out, maplemotors.com. To get any extra information, got detailed uh, pictures on there, about a hundred of them, inside out and underneath of this car. When I get back to the lot, just in a second, I'm gonna hop out and uh, do a full walk around on this car. On the outside, point out any kind of flaws. We're gonna check the paint and everything. So be sure to check both videos if you're interested in buying this car. Another thing I tell people, check availability. Sometimes some of these cars sell. We got about 40 of them on the lot that uh, sell monthly. We, can, we keep in stock about 70 cars. Please subscribe. I appreciate y'all watching. And thanks again, guys.